Another day, another attack on your privacy. In this example, we've got a blog post from Mozilla. Is Germany on the brink of banning ad blockers? User freedom, privacy, and security are at risk. Across the internet, users rely on browsers and extensions to shape how they experience the web, to protect their privacy, improve accessibility, and very importantly, block harmful and intrusive content and take control over what they see. Like Adblock Plus can stop you seeing a whole bunch of trash on the internet and can help stop malicious code being run on a web page. In my example, I'm using the Brave browser here. If I go to a website like Daily Mail, this is typically filled with ads. I don't see any ads on this website, but go to the same website with Chrome I get all of these pop-ups and trash. I have to agree to personalized ads. I have to allow or block notifications. Basically, the website becomes unusable in this example. If you accept their personalized adverts, notice this absolute mess. I've got a video playing down here. I've got an ad at the top here, ad on the left, ad on the right. So if you wanna look at the content in this website, you basically have to look at ads. What a mess. There are very good reasons why you wanna use a browser like Brave or use an ad blocker in 2025. As they say here, there are many reasons to use an ad blocker, including protecting your privacy and to improve accessibility. This ranges from phishing to malicious code execution to invasive tracking to fingerprinting to more mundane harms like inefficient website elements that waste processing resources, elements that waste your bandwidth, CPU, etc. If a browser was forced to write any code served to the user, it could run a piece of dangerous software as they say here. A recent ruling from Germany's Federal Supreme Court risks turning one of these essential tools, the ad blocker, into a copyright liability, and in doing so threatens the broader principle of user choice online. So if you use an ad blocker or you use a browser like Brave, you are infringing on copyright. That seems very weird to me. I don't wanna see all the trash on a website, but I could be infringing on copyright if I live in Germany. And the problem here, is if this happens in Germany, how long will it be before it happens in your country? The recent court ruling is the latest development in a legal battle between this publisher and the maker of Adblock Plus. It's included both competition and copyright claims. Previously in 2022, the Hamburg Appeal Court ruled that Adblock Plus does not infringe the copyright of websites, but rather was merely facilitating a choice by users about how they wished their browser to render a web page. That has now unfortunately been partially overturned. As they say here on the Mozilla blog, we sincerely hope that Germany does not become the second jurisdiction after China to ban ad blockers. This would significantly limit users' ability to control their online environment and potentially open the door to similar restrictions elsewhere. And that's the problem. As we're seeing in the UK, the UK has the Online Safety Act that is already affecting people around the world. They wanna find American companies like 4chan for not following their rules. It doesn't matter what you think about 4chan or other websites. The issue here is that a UK organization, Ofcom, basically the UK government, is trying to dictate to people around the world, companies around the world, what they can and can't do. And that's the issue here. The only country at the moment, according to this blog entry, that blocks ad blockers is China. So will Germany be next? And how long before other countries follow suit and block ad blockers? If this happens in Germany, such a precedent could embolden legal challenges against other extensions that protect privacy, enhance accessibility, and improve security around the world. It could also deter innovation in these areas, pressure browser vendors to limit extension functionality, and shift the internet away even more from its open user-driven nature to one with reduced flexibility, innovation, and control for users. It's very sad to see what's happening in Australia, the UK, the US, Germany, and other countries where governments are trying to control what you can do on the internet. It seems like ad blockers are under attack. Your privacy is under attack by various businesses, but also by governments and courts like this example in Germany.